All right, welcome to the little tutorial. My name is Alex Lili. I'm a former number one in Europe, a former World Pool Masters. And I'm going to show something about uh, spin on the cue ball. So in pool, we pocket balls, but the trick is to get good position on the next ball. And for that, we use spin. There are two axes, so I can hit the cue ball somewhere along the vertical axis, high or low, and on the horizontal axis to give left or right spin. So first, the vertical axis. It deflects, it influences the deflection of the cue ball after impacting the object ball, the one. So now I'm gonna pocket the one. If I play no spin, so no rotation on the cue ball, it will slide after impact along the tangent line, the 90 degree line of the pocketing line. So this is a center ball hit. Now I can manipulate the deflection of the cue ball by hitting high or low. Now I will hit with backspin on the cue ball and you will see that it travels along the tangent line and after some distance the backspin grips on the cue ball and it will start to bend, to curve back. Now this is why we all loved watching Jimmy White back in the day for his famous banana shot. The more speed you give it, the longer it takes before the backspin grips. Now side spin, playing left or right on the cue ball, influences the deflection of the rail. So for example, I'm playing the three in the side pocket and I want to play position on the four. If I play high on the cue ball, it will come here, but I need to change the angle. Open up the angle to come here. So I'm gonna give left spin on the cue ball. When the cue ball arrives to the rail, the left spin opens the angle. Now I struck it so sweetly that I overpowered the amount of spin, so I have one more go. So there's your side spin. So high, low, left, right on the cue ball is actually your assignment to the cue ball. Where do you want the cue ball to go? after impacting the object ball so you get the easiest possible shot thereafter. <laughs> 